Hey Legendies, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new, my name is Mo. I'm 27 and I'm working on my financial freedom journey. Okay, so boom. <laughs> there is June and I have yet to do a June um, monthly budget. So better late than never. So in this video, I'm going to go over my June budget, my June goals. Um, I did my raise hits this month, so we're going to talk about that. You're going to see a little different numbers. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to tell you right now. My main goal for June is to get myself ready for July, and that is to move, okay? Because this is like, this is a big move for me because it's several states away. <laughs> um, but we're going to be talking about that. Um, I'm going to let you guys know again, I will be releasing uh budget planners at the end of every month so the last friday of every month so the last friday of this month is the 24th make sure you guys go check that out i won't restock okay until the last friday of every month so make sure you are subscribed to paperwithbymo.com so you know when the new releases happen you feel me and if you don't like paper budget planners you know Pen and paper. I'm a pen and paper girl. But if you don't like that, that's cool because I have digital products available for you. So make sure you guys go to paperbymo.com. Check that out. Um, if you haven't subscribed and you enjoy my content, you want to share subscribe to your girl. Um, and if you're interested in watching this June budget, make sure you stay tuned. Okie dokie. So... I have my budget planner. I try to like tell you guys, this is not what the budget planners look like now because this is older. Um, but you know, we gotta use what we got, child. So this is my month of June. Also, I sell these tabs individually or they come clustered together. You know what I'm saying? Your girl got you. If you need it, I got it. I'm trying to get back on my grind with the videos, with, um, you know, just paper by mail in general. I took a little time off and I'm back. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to write June here, but I'm not even going to fill it in, um, to be honest. TBH. TBH. I was also thinking about, like, making, you know, like, monthly and weekly planners because I feel like people need those. I feel like I need them. I need to do a better job of, like, you know, just tracking my time, what I'm doing, how I'm doing it. Um, but it's a task, y'all. Like, you ever just feel like you're just running and you just keep running and you just don't stop running? That's kind of how I'm feeling. I'm trying to, like, you know, relax, relate, release. And what's crazy is I've had a couple weeks to relax, relate, release. But nonetheless, y'all are like, girl. So, for my June goals, very much so simple. It's literally to, like, organize my life. And I'm going to put just like that organize my life and prepare to move y'all prepare to be amazed prepare to be sick of me <laughs> okay prepare i was gonna say to be sick of me you know what we're just gonna cross it out prepare to move and i'm just gonna underline that i should organ underline organize my life because you need to do it so I'm just gonna write a few strategies, nothing crazy, but I'm I'm gonna give away. I'm gonna sell some items, sell items because I'm moving across states. There's like big things that I'm not taking, and then there's big things that I am taking. I need to figure out what I want to take, what I can, what I can't. I gotta get this money in order, y'all. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna say what's important to me. What's important to me? I promise you that's an M in there somehow. Um, What was I going to say? I haven't like did like side hustling in a minute, but I'm trying to tell y'all June is happening, okay? I'm, a, I'm about to get to this dash, okay? Because when you need the money, you go get the cash. If you want the cash, you better dash. <laughs> Which I'm, I'm going to see how it's going to work because I know gas prices are out of this world and y'all going to see that in my budget. I have adjusted my budget to hopefully cover gas, but nonetheless and less than none, I'm going to try to do it and get this money and have some fun. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get my calculator later. Boom. 
put it right there and we're gonna get into it okay so the budget month is june oh speaking of budget month june father's day juneteenth two holidays i think it's gonna end up being on the same day you all make sure y'all go look out because i will be having some sales for what is already on paperbymo.com okay it's gonna be a one day sale one day maybe two if i'm feeling if i'm feeling icy if i'm feeling you know all dazzle dazzle so y'all make sure y'all stay tuned so my starting budget is gonna be zero dollars. I try to make sure I have zero in the bank. Shot it, what you think? Yes, I went. I went back to look. I don't know why, but yes, zero dollars. And I am assuming that my budget. I'm gonna get eighteen hundred dollars per check, um, and I get two for my full time job. And I get two checks this month, so I'm gonna say three thousand six hundred dollars. And I ain't mad at that. Um, I'm not going to include my side hustle. You guys know I have side hustle printables. Um, make sure you guys go check that on paperbymo.com as well. And here are all the bills, darling. So uh, you're going to see a new bill in here. I have not done a bills video. I feel like I want to do a bills video, but I am going to move in July. And then that means that I'm going to have to do another bills video because my bills are going to be different amounts. And you know what? At this point, I'm thinking, why not? Let me just share life with y'all. <laughs> okay. So, first things first is rent. Um, that is going to be $1,500. Ooh, when I move, to, to move, it's going to cost me a little cheese, okay? It's going to cost me a little cheese, guac, bread, whatever. But when I get there and I settle in, rent is not going to be this. Ooh, and I am two, three, four excited, okay? I am, I must say. Okay, so we have the rent. We have internet, $72. I'm going to put... For my electricity, it's going to be 60. Here's the thing. Here's why I'm thinking it's not going to be with what I'm saying is 60. Because I have not been here in this apartment for three whole weeks in the month of May. Okay? I'm the type of person when I leave and I go on vacation, I turn my air off. <laughs> I, I unplug my electric, not electricity, my, um, my Wi-Fi. Like, ain't no ghosts, ain't nobody snatching my junk. So, I'm hoping that will help me. But we shall see y'all. Okay. So fifteen hundred for rent, seventy two for internet, sixty dollars for my electricity, and then you're gonna see this bill called ortho, which is my orthodontist. I currently have um, what's these things in my mouth called Invisalign. So it's different, but your girl trying to have straight teeth, and that's all you know, just a little self help, self work. And I, I'm not gonna lie, I do feel some type of way because I am adding a new bill. But nonetheless, and less than none, I am literally going to go down on my bills, like how much my rent and stuff is going to cost when I move. And when I get there, I'll tell you what it is, you know, and I'm going to give you more details. Maybe not when I get there. I don't know. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit more, but a little bit later. Nonetheless, like I said, I don't know why I keep saying nonetheless, y'all. I felt some type of way about this, but I'm like, you know what? Treat yourself, girl. Treat yourself. Okay, plus 72 plus 60 plus one two six and you know what i'm missing my life my life my life my life okay my that's my life insurance guys plus nine dot fifty okay one more time because y'all know i'm trying to get these nails off one day um i think i'm going to do it myself i don't know but i know getting my nails done is not in the budget and um yeah okay so my total here for bills is one thousand seven hundred sixty seven dollars and fifty cents Ugh, look how i write so we're gonna subtract that from three six zero zero that means i have one thousand eight hundred thirty two dollars and fifty cents left so one thousand eight hundred thirty two fifty so hear me out okay have y'all seen those like videos tiktok instagram youtube whatever whatever and everybody's like living their best life. And they're like, let me tell you, I work out a six figure job, honey. And I'm there's no shade because I want everybody to get their money. But I just I feel like I'm doing something wrong, you know? I feel like maybe, maybe I'm doing this the wrong way. Maybe they're like, oh, we just do this, do this, we do this training, we have no education, and we just immediately, immediately 150,000. And I'm like, and here I am creeping up to 70,000, and I'm thinking. I'm doing life right or okay. And I don't know. I'm just, you know, I'm just being honest with you guys because that's when I am honest. 
All right, so we're into cash ish, and I'm gonna do two hundred fifty dollars for food. Um, I think I said it in a previous video, but with Invisalign, I looked it up right, and it was saying like, um, people on Invisalign go like usually lose weight because you're supposed to have the trays in your mouth for twenty between twenty and twenty two hours a day. That means you only have between two and four hours to take it out your mouth. Now, I'm paying for this, okay? This is not when I was a kid and I had braces, okay? I'm paying for it. So I'm trying to make sure I got this crap in my mouth as much as possible. When I say I time myself when I eat. So we're gonna see how this affects my budget because I don't need to get any skinnier than I already am, okay? So we're just gonna see though. We're just gonna see. Anyhow, so that's food. And then I'm gonna do gas. And I am budgeting, y'all. Check me out, $200 and I am. I have to, I have to listen. Times is hard right now with the gas. So we're going to see how that's going to shake. What it's going to do for me. So his and hers, I'm going to do 100. Um, I know I'm going to try to dash. But usually when I dash, I take a percentage out and get put it towards gas. So we're just going to see. We're just going to see. So his and hers is 100. So my sinking fund, I'm going to give it $700. Now hear me out. Y'all like, girl, that's a lot of money. And it is. But a part of it is going to be for my moving fund. And whatever I get from side hustle, that's probably going to move into just to just be honest. So keep that in mind. Um, what else? Okay, so we have the one dollar savings challenge, y'all. I don't have anything in my jar yet, so we'll see how I do this month. But I'm just gonna do thirty dollars for the whole month, and then fifty two weeks, and I'm gonna do fifty dollars for the whole month. Okay, because I want to do a little progress. And nonetheless, why well, I keep saying nonetheless, the whole point of the $1 saving challenge and the 52 weeks is to save money, right? Everybody keeps talking about recession, 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 which I, I genuinely believe it's going to happen. And I want to save money and be a little prepared. You know, to have a little dinero or whatever, you know, just a little dinero, a little guap. So we're going to see. So 250 plus 200 um, plus 100 plus 700 plus 30 plus five zero. So that's $1,330. Me and Benjamin Bank go stay at Unka. You know that song? By um, Jenny from the Block. I couldn't think of her name. Okay, so it's minus 1832. One, eight, three, two, Okay, that's five hundred two dollars and fifty cents. Sorry, you guys can hear the cars in the background. I really, I really can't control it. Really can't control it. Really can't control it. Mm, I really can't control it. Really can't. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so from here we're doing save ish, and only thing I'm putting over here is my emergency fund, which I'm just gonna give it. For the month, I mean, for my full-time job, or at least what I'm calculating, I'm going to do 200 I think the actual for this budget is going to be really important. So then that way, like, because I'm, I'm, I'm guessing. I'm not going to lie to y'all. This is why you know that budgets change frequently. Okay, so I'm going to say um, $200 here. And it was $502.50. So then I'm going to give myself... Ooh, somebody is going fast. Okay, I hope you get to where you got to get safely, sir. I'll pray for you. Okay, <laughs> so, ooh, debt. That's what I meant to put there. And then this is going to be my student loans. Again, this is me guessing because I feel like if I don't have enough money to put towards, like, my moving money and for June, then I'm going to not do debt. Okay, so this is why... I, you got a budget and we got an actual column. So I'm gonna go ahead and put $300 here. And then the total is gonna be 300. And then the safe amount or like, you know, just to hold off in my account, just in case something gotta come out, is gonna be $2.50. I think we were straightforward. We were straight to the moolah la. Um, I'm gonna fill in my sinking funds and go over this when I do my cash stuffing or whatever. Uh, for my first paycheck and then i'll go over my first paycheck but yeah this month is i'm grateful let me let's talk about it you know how you pray for something and sometimes people okay sometimes people maybe not you but people pray for some something and then they get to something 
and then they're not happy about the something, it's kind of like I try to make sure and, you know, manage myself. Like I pray for a raise and I'm so genuinely grateful. Now this 1800 is a guess, so TBD. But I'm just so grateful and I just feel like sometimes you just got to sit in the moment and be happy and thankful for what you have because where we are now is what you pray for a win, okay? So mm, I'm grateful. I'm grateful for you guys watching. I am just genuinely, genuinely grateful. Grateful to be able to move, to live, to afford an apartment because rent is high, high, high all the time. High, high, high every day. Okay, anyways. Hi. Okay, because I'm not a singer. Anywho, here's my little budget. And um, excuse me, big budget. Ain't nothing little around here. And my goal, which is just to organize my life and prepare to move. So I thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you go check out paperbabble.com, subscribe to it, subscribe to this YouTube channel, like and comment. What's going on with y'all for June? Again, late is better than never, but I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.